Hello, I'm Michael Zoll, and once again, we're going to be tying another great fly. This is a simple larva fly. It's tied on a mustad, size 16, 33, 99, wet slash nymph fly tying hook. Only one material involved, that is, this white marabou or any other color marabou. Ties in green, ties in black, tall and brown, olive, an off white, any color. This is the marabou quill, and then just brown thread. Very simple little fly, can add weight. They imitate larva oh, really well. One of my favorites uh, for trout. Um, there's nothing really else hatching you could say um, you know could, some people could say mosquito larva not quite that small maybe in size 22 but they're really good all around fly to have they'll imitate tons of stuff the green ones will imitate a caddis larva these white ones they imitate like a like a small fly larva or you know like a wax worm or a small meal worm I just took meh, 10 marabou fibers stripped them off the turkey quill this is a turkey marabou and turned the ends flat um, go to your fly shop or any place these are like going to be the premium. They're very long. Yeah, go out for you. Show you how big this is. It's sort of like ostrich. You could use ostrich, but marabou works a little better. So I just tied them in at the back of the hook. Next, I'm just going to twist these fibers into a little world. I'm just going to begin to wrap I'm twisting while I'm wrapping and when I get to where little fibers are long longer I'm going to let go of it and move it back and I'm going to have to retwist it just do that until you get right up to the eye of the hook. Uh, I'm going to do one more tiny little wrap here. These are very easy to tie can time very quickly don't have a lot of materials could add weight on um, what I do is I take a black tungsten bead or any other bead and I'll use that for weight I'll put on the line I'll tie on my fly I'll let it slide around or I'll or you can peg it or something or you can just use split shot. Ah, so let me build up a nice little brown head. It's gonna look very realistic. Do a couple of finishes. Okay. Just doing three. Okay. Next, you're going to varnish the head. You want to pick varnish or glue or head cement that is very shiny. Lacquer would be ideal. Vinyl, eh, is sure shiny. Um, not as shiny as lacquer. I'm actually going to use Zapagap. Very shiny. I'm using the thick one and 
This is probably one of the most shiny tins. Whenever you apply Zappa Cap, don't use your bobkin. You'll ruin it. Uh, you'll never be able to get that stuff off after it dries. So I'm, I just have a piece of uh, red copper wire. And just a spare piece from a fly. And I uh, can't see this on the camera, I don't think. Maybe it can. That produced a very shiny brown head. That looks just like the ones on these small little larvae. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I got a little in the eye of the hook. So, I have to go back with just a little piece of mono. So there's monofilament, all it is, it's like eight filament test, it's a little too limp, there, I actually this might be four, just thread it through the eye, just do one of these, just to clear it. You don't want the uh, super glue, you'll never be able to clear it out of the, that eye of that small of a hook. Uh, that's, that's impossible. Okay. And there she is. Simple. Um, very quickly tie, if I wasn't explaining it, um, a fly would have took me two minutes because um, I had time and I varnished them all at once but uh, very simple fly good for trout, panfish even dates everything should be in every beginners or advanced person's tackle box well thank you for joining me and tight lines follow